Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's that van guy again with another video. Today we're going to be checking out some of my oddball van die casts. Some of the like super cheap, cheap stuff. Like uh, I believe this uh, case right here is mostly uh, Road Champs was the brand. Uh, I'll see if I can find uh, like a carded version on eBay. Like a photo to show you guys. Uh, These were all like fairly cheap. I don't think they usually had anything on the back of the card at all. It was just like plain cardboard and there was just a little bit of uh, artwork on the front and they were super cheap. They were like cheaper than uh, Hot Wheels, I believe. They were like the like budget brand die cast. Uh, but I think they were like uh, maybe made by Yat Ming. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I think some of them are called Road Champs. So we'll open up the case here, and we can look at a couple. Uh, I haven't really showed these in a video before, so I figured I would just uh, spotlight a few here. Kind of give you a, a shot. It might be a long video if I took every single one out and, um, you know, did a you know, spun every single one on the turntable. But here you can maybe see, let me try to adjust the light here. I think you can see there, hopefully, that it says uh, Yat Ming on the bottom of the uh, base made in Hong Kong. So you can kind of tell some of this stuff doesn't even have like a brand name on the bottom. So you can kind of tell by who made it on like the shape of the base. This one kind of has some weird uh, curving arcs that go over where the axles are. A lot of these cheap vans, they don't have any interior in them at all. It's just, uh, well, this one actually does. Uh, but some of them, you know, there's seats and a steering wheel. But some of them are just like, they're so cheap, it's just a shell and a base and you can usually tell because you can like see right into the van through the wheel wells but yeah this is a yat ming and i believe uh this was sold as like in the road Ch road champs brand or something like that this one is the devil's den it's got a, what's cool about these sometimes is they have a the little the little pop-out bubble window in the back so that's another way to kind of recognize what it is if you don't have the packaging. A lot of these are just, you can see the sticker starting to peel off. These, a lot of these weren't painted. They just had stickers applied to them. So if you get one that's uh, in really old condition, the stickers like start to peel. And then uh, they look kind of trashy. Uh, there's some with different wheels. This one has a different base, so this one might not be a Yat Ming. You can see see the difference in the two bases, how they look different. Let's see if we can zoom in on this and see what it says. It's really hard to see it. This may be made in Hong Kong. Yeah, see how the, they don't really have anything at all, like not even a brand on the bottom. This one does have some seats in it, so it does have some sort of an interior. Kind of hard to tell with the orange tinted window. Interline. But if you look real close also at the, you know, you can see the wheels are different. Take a look at the uh, porthole. The porthole on the bottom is kind of a little bit more elongated, like an oval. And the top one is this perfect circle. So that's another small cue that they're like a different brand. So yeah, you got to pay close attention to all these little details. But like I said, I'm not sure who made it because it doesn't have any info on the, on the actual base or on the van anywhere. And uh, I don't have, you know, a lot of the stuff I bought loose. So yeah, so... Just figured I'd show you some of the stuff, oddball vans that I have. Uh, here's another one, just made in China with a number on the bottom. 
It does have an interior though. It's got seats in it. But I have seen a few that don't even have any interior. Another way to tell is like the different wheels they use. So I don't know what why don't I just uh I guess I could go through them real quick. I'll just throw them all on the turntable real fast for you. And uh we'll check out. But I got a whole bunch of these. I got like a whole case of these. Let me just throw a couple back in here. Two-sided case full of this stuff. And uh on the other side. I have some more oddball vans and some of these are a different brand on this side so lots of crazy no-name stuff and then the case behind this those are all Ertl vans made in Iowa Ertl brand and a bunch of those and I might have done, I think I did a video on my Ertles, so check out my page, or my uh, YouTube channel playlist, because uh, I've got over 300 videos right now on my YouTube channel, so uh, by all means, guys, like check out the different playlists on my channel, check out all the old videos, because there's probably, you know, I buy new stuff, but I also buy old stuff, so, um, you know, there might be some cool stuff that you've never seen before, or maybe that you didn't even know existed because you've never seen it before. So just kind of browse around on my YouTube channel and check out all the old videos. I'll uh, grab the turntable and uh, we'll uh, take a look at some of this cheap oddball stuff. But I'm thinking about maybe thinning down my collection a little bit and getting rid of some of these oddball ones. So you guys can reach out to me on uh my facebook page that van guy through messenger if you're interested in some of this stuff uh you know i try to give you a good deal on the stuff uh you probably would have to buy a, quite a few because i don't really want to be sending out like one van at a time you know that gets expensive uh for shipping and then it's a lot of running around for me so uh but yeah i'll just grab the turntable and throw a bunch on real quick all right we'll try to zip through these as quick as possible because i have a lot this one's a rainbow not sure if this one has any interior i don't think this one does this might be one of the extra cheap ones Made in Hong Kong. Kind of hard to tell with that windshield. Sometimes they make the uh, windshield opaque on purpose just so you can't see that there's not any interior in it. But there's that one. Uh, next up, we got one called Surfer, and uh, I think these are from, uh, I think they were released in around the 70s or so. You can see this one is missing the sticker on one side, because they do uh, lose their adhesive uh, on the sticker, and then they just peel off. So, especially the ones that are, like, loose, that we kind of bounce it around, even the ones in the package eventually will, like, uh, the adhesive wears out and it just uh, the stickers fall off so here's another one uh, here's another one here does that one say sunshine on it or sunbird sunbird on one side not sure what it says on the other Sunbird, I guess. But yeah, see, these are very cheap. Uh, you know, they don't really last very well. So if you're finding them, you know, buying them secondhand on eBay, you're not going to, uh, 
you know, they're going to be hard to find in good condition. Even the ones that are, like, still in the packaging are, uh, you know, not the greatest. This one says Aspen on it. There's a U.S. Army version. Here's a red one with flames. Forest Patrol. Pop Scission. Ran for rent. Here's one that's a little rough. It says Sun Van on it. The sticker's kind of worn. <clears throat> Here's another one with some just some funky stripes. Can really see the the sticker on these because sometimes the, they have clear stickers and then they yellow so you can kind of see the outline of the sticker you can kind of see how it's stuck on there here's another one And like I said, these aren't all the same. See how this one's got kind of another weird looking base. When it's got like the little uh, fingers with the axle running through. These are like the extra cheap ones. I don't, I think this is one of the ones that, I guess it does have interior on that too. But I don't know, they just, you when you pick them up, they're super light. So you can just kind of tell that they're super cheap and there's not much to them. Because it's just like a... It's a metal shell with everything else is plastic, plastic interior, plastic base, plastic rail, plastic wheels. So they just don't feel very substantial. Here's another one. So yeah, I have a bunch of these, but I was just thinking about maybe getting rid of them because I'm not really that into them. I, at one time, I just wanted to collect everything van, but... That gets really expensive and I only have so much room to display stuff and I'm just like, why am I keeping it if I'm not displaying it? You know, like, it doesn't pay to keep it and just, uh, you know, keep it in a tote or something or in a box where it can't be viewed or enjoyed. What do you guys think? What do you think about having... Collections of cars that just sit in, in storage bins. It's like, why well, have them if it's just going to sit in storage? Like, I kind of like to have mine out and display them, you know what I mean? So people can check them out. Notice how this one, the, the porthole window is kind of oblong. So, that's how you can kind of tell the difference between some of these but they're all super cheap this one's got like a little light on top fire brigade This one here is like super mint, like fresh out of the package, like it was just made. Uh, I don't know if this one has stickers. This kind of feels like, almost like it was printed, because it feels very smooth and clean. Uh, I'm not sure what the deal is with that one. But you can just tell it just looks like it's brand new yet. 
So that one I might have gotten carded or something, I'm not sure. Or maybe it was just uh, a later release, like, you know, they just had this casting and they just keep cranking them out. And it was a newer release. So they all just pretty much the exact same van. Most of them are Fords. Um, they just have like maybe one or two castings and they just keep putting out different paint schemes and different graphics. Once in a while they'll change up the wheels on it. This one's Windjammer. Here's another El Cheapo. It's just like a camouflage paint job on it. And they uh, made a ton of these. So if you check out eBay, uh, you know, you search, if you're really into these, there's a lot of different versions that you can collect, a lot of different graphics that were put out, different releases. Some of the graphics are pretty cool, and some of them are kind of, you know, not so. Here's one called Bullseye. All right, we'll flip over to the other side. Here's another one that's like super mint. Nice and clean. I think this is another one that was uh, printed on with ink and not a sticker. You can just kind of feel it because they just have like a more of a smooth texture to them. So these might be uh, more recent releases. Here's another one uh, that feels nice and smooth. Ambulance. So these might be more recent releases. There's not a whole lot of info on these. I don't think there's like a that I know of, uh, like a Yat Ming website or any other website that really gives much detail on these cheap uh, Asian brand uh, van uh, die cast. Now there are a few oddballs that have uh, a metal base, we're getting to those. Now here's one, this one's in really rough shape, um, but it has a metal base. So this is a lot heavier. Uh, metal base, metal body, you can see it still has some sticker residue, but the stickers all like chewed off, and some of the most of the paints chewed off too. I do have a few of these with the metal bases, but they're all in pretty rough shape. Here's another one with the metal base. Here's one. It says spaced out again, metal base version. I mean, if you wanted to make a custom out of these, you know, this would, if you wanted to do some downhill racing, this one might be, uh, you know, cool. One of these metal base ones because it's got the weight. Maybe put some uh, modern Hot Wheels wheels on it, uh, but just use the base and body. Now we're switching to uh, a different style. I'm um, not sure who makes this one. Let's see if we can see it on the bottom. Play Art. Okay, yeah, I have a few Play Art brands. Play Art is the brand, and then it's Custom Van. is just the name of it. And they made a few different ones, and these have uh, stickers on them as well. A lot of them do. Some of them are printed. That one's a little more rare or an oddball so there are a lot of vans that look like fairly similar pretty cool it's a 
clay art. Here's a Yat Ming with a plastic base. It's got some gnarled tires. I think this one's supposed to be a Chevy. So slightly different casting than all the ones that we were looking at before. I don't think they made as many of these. Uh, they did make a few different colors though. So I have this another basically the paint same paint scheme but in like a like a dark red. Next up we'll check out a slightly different cheap oddball casting. Uh, this one doesn't say anything about it other than made in China. Another super cheap one with a, this is probably one of the ones that doesn't have an interior because it's got an opaque windshield on it. And I've got a few of these. And then there's also ones that are kind of similar that have a porthole in the side, like a large porthole. Not really sure. Who made these? This one is uh, uh, another oddball. It says Sheriff on it. So take a look at the wheel construction. You can tell these have like a weirder base. And uh, the wheels are kind of like a skinny plastic wheel with like a gnarled edge on one side. There's another one. Oops. And now we're getting to some of the oddballs. With a big porthole in them that are kind of similar to these. Uh, I'm not really sure what this one says. Summer van scale model 160 a scale Not sure if these have interior hard to tell But these are the ones with the big portholes in the side Which are kind of oddballs I think these are maybe a foreign release because it says Bedford on the bottom of this one. Bedford CF. Bedford CF was uh, it's like a foreign, like a British version of the full-size van. And they all have this weird uh, large porthole on the side. A lot of these have uh, stickers, like I said, where it's just the stickers are starting to peel off. Kind of a cool design, though. This one says dashes on it, I believe. Here's one that says uh, Firebird. And another one that says Sun Van. Same kind of a design, but for the graphic, but a different casting. And then I have a few uh, Hawk designs in different colors. Uh, these are the most common, I think, are easiest to find. The ones that have like a bird outline on them and say Hawk. Not really sure why, but I think I have two of these. Uh, I'm not sure if one color is like slightly different than the other. They look about the same color. 
Not sure why I have doubles of this. Is it maybe some sort of a wheel variation? Kind of hard to tell. Well, wheels look very similar. And then I have a blue version. So yeah, uh, I've got over 300 videos on my channel, guys. So make sure you check out all my different playlists and just kind of browse around on my YouTube channel and check out all the different videos, old and new. Uh, I think there's a, a video on my Ertl uh, vans. So if you're interested in some other oddball castings that aren't that common, you know, check those out. Search around on my channel. Lots of content for you guys to check out. So if uh, for whatever reason, uh, you know, diecast is kind of slim, there's nothing new, nothing to make a video on, you can always jump on my channel at any time and check out all the other old videos. Free at Fridays, casting spotlights, larger 118th scale van casting reviews. Uh, I even have a playlist of uh, reviews on different display cases and stuff. So lots of content for you guys to check out. If you're new here, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. All right, guys, that'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't too long and boring. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it informational. Don't forget to subscribe. Also check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy. And you can find me on Instagram. I'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day.